Hello Libra, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, your spirit guides, and your ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Libra, let's take a look and see what is going on for you this week. The overall energy of your love situation, we have the Four of Swords. Gemini had this card in the exact same position, in a different deck, but same position. Their current feelings towards you, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Their intentions towards you, we have the Five of Pentacles. And their actions and behaviors, we have the Strength card. So I do feel like you guys are in separation from somebody here. I feel like you, there could be no communication going on between the two of you. Five of Cups in the reverse tells me that I feel like th I feel like this person is ready to stop missing you. They're tired of feeling like this. They don't want to miss you. They don't want to be in separation any longer. You know, they're just tired of feeling like this without you. The Five of Pentacles here. You're feeling a little bit left out in the cold, feeling like they're lacking in some way, or feeling like their life is lacking in some way without you here. The Strength card may be finding the courage to take some kind of action towards you, or just trying to find the strength to get through the day. We're going to clarify these more in a moment, but I want to get your energy out on the table too. You have the Knight of Swords here. For your feelings. We have the King of Cups for your intentions. In your actions and behaviors, you have the Judgment card. In this deck, they call it Enlightenment. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I think both of you guys are in your head about the situation this week. I feel like there has been no communication or very, very little. I feel like this person's been having a hard time. Libra and I feel like they're ready to come out of that, okay? They could definitely be noticing how much you added to their life because I really feel like they're noticing the lack of you right now, right? So they're noticing, you know, that they're missing talking to you. They're missing getting your text messages. They're just missing you. They could feel like they've put themselves in a situation that they're not sure how to get out of, right? Maybe they said that they didn't want to do this. Maybe they, they left. Whatever it is here. You know, they've put themselves in the situation. They're like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? Because this isn't what I want. And I am tired of feeling like this. They could be reaching out to you. With this Knight of Swords energy, this could feel very unexpected for you here. But I think that you're, I think you're in a pretty good place emotionally. I'm not saying that this isn't hard for you as well, but it looks like you're more... You're in a space where you're trying really hard to remain positive or you're trying really hard to not allow this to, you know, pull you down too far. Tell me about this Five of Cups, please. Why is the Five of Cups here? We got the King of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. So somebody is figuring out what they want. They could be expecting, you know, maybe that maybe you're going to be a little bit colder. Maybe you're going to be detached. Maybe you're not going to want this anymore. They could have felt like, for some of you guys, this energy can feel like maybe they cut things out. Maybe they were very cold and detached with you because they kind of felt like the grass was going to be greener on the other side. They thought there was something else that they wanted, and now they're having some regrets about that. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're definitely having some kind of wake-up call now. The Ace of Swords and the Judgment card, to me, that combination especially is a kind of a wake-up call type of a moment here. Tell me about the Strength card. I got the Five of Cups. So they're having a really hard time. I do feel like this Ace of Swords could be communication as well. I do feel like you're going to be hearing from somebody in it. Like I said, it may feel very, very unexpected, especially after, you know, this person leaving. For some of you guys, I feel like they could have left for somebody else or they left and then got with somebody else right away. And they're just realizing that this is not what they want. And they may be feeling like it's a, like too little too late or that's what the situation is, that they've gotten themselves in this situation and they don't know how to get themselves out of it. Yeah, look, especially for those of you where they, they did leave for another person, we got that seven of cups then, confusion, illusion, trying to figure out what the options were. You know, I feel like they thought it was going to be so much better and now they're upset about it. They have the five of wands, nine of swords. 
even if it wasn't another person, for some of you guys, it's just maybe they felt like they were going to be better off single, you know, or better off not, you know, dealing with things. But it looks like they're having a lot of regrets here. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Got the King of Cups. So someone's coming in and they're expressing to you how they feel about you. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. You got a lot of Scorpio energy here. Um, a lot of it. But you also have, let's see, we have Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus. Could be any sign, but those are the ones that are sticking out to me. Tell me about this King of Cups energy, the star card. I feel like you do still have a lot of love for this person, but I feel like they have really hurt you. You can see that they're coming in and expressing to you that they're wanting to heal things. Um, but I feel like you're, a lot of you guys are focused on your own healing. Some of you guys may choose to work on this with this person, but for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're like, you know what? No, I've I've finally gotten myself to a good space after you hurt me or after this situation. I have finally got myself to a good space. I have finally, you know, got to a place where I'm okay and I can't see me going back. Tell me about this judgment card with the six of swords. Yeah, some of you guys are like, no, I've, I'm making my decision to leave this behind me. I've, I'm already moving on. So, you know, only you guys get to decide what's best for you. I feel like this person is really, really regretting their decisions. Okay, they're, they they hurt you in the past. They made a lot of choices here, and I feel like they're having a lot of regrets now. And for some of you guys, you know, you have worked really hard on your healing and to get yourself to the place you are, and you should be very proud of yourselves. But that is what I have for you. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personal readings, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting me, and I will see you soon.